Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 Beginners Video Series on MSFT Webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to manage DHCP server role using Windows Server 2022 IPAM. In the last video, we installed and configured IPAM feature on this Windows Server 2022. Link to that video is given in the description area. IPAM allows us to manage and maintain our DNS and DHCP servers from one location. Normally, we use the DNS manager and the DHCP management console to configure these services. With IPAM, we can open one application and configure many RP services from one location. In this video, I'll show you how to configure DHCP using IPAM. So let's start by learning how to create a new DHCP scope using IPAM. Open the Server Manager dashboard if it hasn't been opened yet. Click on IPAM. Under Monitor and Manage, click on DNS and DHCP servers. We have installed DHCP server role on SRT22-DC02 domain controller. Right click on DHCP server and select Create DHCP scope. Click on General. And a general properties details about new DHCP scope. Starting with scope name. Let's enter scope name scope2. Enter description for this DHCP scope. Define start and end IP address. And a subnet mask which is going to be 255.255.255.0 in this example. Change the list duration as per your requirement. We will keep it to default 8 days. You can also exclude certain IP addresses from this range. For that, you just have to define those IP addresses here. Activate this DHCP scope on creation will be set to no. Click on Options. Click on New to define scope option. Make sure vendor class is set to DHCP standard options, user class is set to default user class and change the option to 003 router. We are going to enter the default gateways IP address. In our case, it is going to be 172.1873.1. After entering the IP address, click on Add Configuration. Again, click on New. Change the option to 006 DNS servers. Type server name srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com. Click on Resolve. Again, type the server name srt22-dc02.msftwebcast.com. Click on Resolve. We have added both DNS servers IP addresses. Click on Add Configuration. Again, click on New. Change the option to 015 DNS domain name. Type msftwebcast.com as a value. Click on Add Configuration. This is how you can define DHCP scope option. Once all the settings are completed, click on Apply. Check the status on summary page. It should be Success. Click OK. And Monitor and Manage, click on DHCP Scopes. We can see now we have two DHCP scopes on our DHCP server. Next, let's create a DHCP reservation in newly created DHCP scope. Right click on Scope 2 and select Create DHCP Reservation. Specify the required values to create a DHCP reservation like name, IP address and client's MAC address. Click on Apply. If the status is successful, then click on OK. The DHCP reservation with IP address 172.18.73.22 has been created successfully. Next, let's set up DHCP policy. We want to set up DHCP policy for MAC addresses lease times. This will result in a shorter lease for any system with the same initial MAC address. Click on DNS and DHCP servers. 
right click on DHCP server and select configure DHCP policy. Specify the value to create a DHCP policy. I have given name test DHCP policy over description sample DHCP policy for shorter lease duration. Set lease duration for policy checked and set for 2 hours. Now let's define the condition for this DHCP policy. Click on conditions. Click on new. Criteria will be MAC address. Make sure that operator is set to equals. Specify the value for condition. Type value 080027. Select use wildcard checkbox and click on add. Then click the add condition button. We have defined the MAC address condition for this DHCP policy. Now click on apply. Wait for the status. If it is success, then click OK. Any DHCP client request with that initial MAC address will get a lease duration of 2 hours. We have successfully created DHCP policy using IPAM in Windows Server 2022. Let's confirm the same using DHCP Management Console. Let's go back to SRT22-DC02VM. Let's right click on our server name and click on Refresh. Expand IP version 4 and we can see we have two DHCP scopes, Scope 1 and Scope 2. We can confirm that Scope 2 is not active since we have selected do not activate the scopes after creation. To activate this DHCP scope, you just have to right click on it and select activate. Let's click on scope options. We can see the scope options which we have defined. Next, click on policies. Here we can see we have taste DHCP policy. Our description is there and processing order is also there. Let me click on policies here because that is a server level policy. Let's select the policy and click on properties. We can see the condition is there. The lease duration is limited to 2 hours and go to conditions tab. This is the condition which we have defined using IPAM. So we can confirm that we can easily manage a DHCP server role using IPAM in Windows Server 2022. That's all for this video on how to manage DHCP server using IPAM in Windows Server 2022. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.